We have seen that larger random samples tend to be more like the population from which they are drawn than smaller ones. It is natural to think that this is because a larger fraction of the population has been sampled, but this is not so. In fact, all that matters is the sample size and that the sample is drawn randomly. The size of the population, or fraction sampled, doesn't matter at all. Here is a useful analogy. Suppose you have two pots of soup, one small and one large. You want to check the saltiness of each one. Naturally, you draw samples. You stir the soup in the smaller pot to randomize it, and select a teaspoonful at random to taste. Because you have selected your sample at random, you have confidence that it will give you a good idea of the saltiness of the soup in the small pot. To reach a similar conclusion about the larger pot, would you need to taste a larger spoonful, perhaps a ladle full of soup, just because it has more soup? Of course not. A teaspoonful of soup gives as good an idea of the seasoning of the soup regardless of the size of the pot. However, suppose you just dipped a toothpick into the pots to get a taste. Such a small sample would not give a very good idea of the seasoning whether the pot was large or small. We will make this mathematically exact in subsequent lessons. When planning a sample survey, remember the tasting example and try not to land in the soup.